Welcome to part three of my Honda NSR restoration series. Today's task is to get the bike firing, and once that's done, begin with the repairs. The battery does need a little faffing about, but as long as you've ordered the correct size to fit in the little pocket, you shouldn't have too much trouble. The top spark plug is pretty easy to get to. You just need a spark removal tool or a 21 mm spanner to get the thing loose. And as for the second plug, that's located in front of the bike, just behind the wheel. So what we're doing is we're not going to be putting the fuel tank on the bike, we've just got a, like a syringe somewhere um, and we're going to be basically pumping the fuel from the syringe through here and then kick, trying to kickstart the bike. I gather there are easier ways to start a kickstart on your bike by like removing the, this thing and attaching it up to some kind of like uh, ratchet or drill or something but we don't really know how to do that so we're just going to do it the old fashioned way which is leg day. There are two things that you have to worry about when you're getting a bike ready to start. The ignition, I switch this on, but also this little button here that says run. <laughs> Do that and apparently it works. And then, shut. First time in a decade. And it smells like two strikes, beautiful. As you can see, you know, it's spat quite a bit out. <laughs> Jesus the pipes are pretty groggy. You just lube the tip. Yeah, maybe definitely need to pull the bits. Before I have about the chamber. Yeah, I'm curious. Did liquid come out of the chamber? Looks like it might have done. Maybe, yeah. maybe there's a hole in it. It looks like there's a minor yeah, crack there. Yeah, there's a crack there. Yeah. yeah. So they need to be repaired anyway. Um, we debated very, very briefly when we got the spike about replacing the chambers and then we found out that JHA exhausts are actually quite desirable and recommended as being the best exhaust to have for these kind of bikes. So we'll go down the route of trying to fix them. So now that we've confirmed that the bike runs, it's now time to start fixing all of the other issues we've discovered. The first being replacing the brake fluid in hopes that we'll be able to get the brakes working. Pro tip. If you want to repaint your vehicle, be it a car or a bike, um, but you want to do it on the cheap, use brake fluid. Alrighty, so we're going to be bleeding the brakes. So this is the caliper on the far side of the bike. The rear brake has got its own separate reservoir, so we'll do the front brakes first and then we'll go do the rear brake. So first off is just this nipple that just came straight off. Okay. And it is a... it is a 10. And then in terms of bleed kit, we've just got this thing. Um, it's supposed to be like a single person bleed kit, but I don't think it works. So we'll just nip that up. Yeah. And what I reckon we'll do is we'll do this side and we'll do that side again. Yeah. Just take the bridge up the top. Oh, that's how much fluid we've bled so far. Cool, so the other side, same deal. Remove the nipple. There are still some tiny bubbles in the line, but they're so small it's not really worth getting them out right now. We just want to make sure that the brakes work. And then if you've got an NSR 250 and you want to know where the rear brake reservoir is, it's just underneath the rear fairings, which were kind of annoying to remove, but in the end just being one, it ended up just being one 10mm bolt, so <laughs> amongst like a million of them. Oh, cool. Uh, let's get your camera on that, I reckon. What? It's very telling. Oh! <laughs> it's very telling. So, uh... Can you guess what's wrong with this picture? Yep. <laughs> uh. Now we are going to drain the coolant. So we're just using this little thing here and it is a six mil. Oh yeah, probably. <gasps> <Good deal. laughs> oh, it even bled some red there. Oh, there's a heap of red fluid. Oh shit! The um, this really engine oil's coming out. Yeah. Engine oil or? Yeah. Engine oil's coming out. Got it. Next job is to remove the exhaust. Oh, oh it's a broken spring. Onto it. Oh, wow. Huh? Whoa. What? It is full of black oil. That's now a little more. Oh, 
Holy crap. Hold on. I'm assuming that's fuel. <laughs> and the other side, we've actually got some springs in this one. The other one, the spring had broken. Now, usually you can get a spring puller tool, which we do have, but we've misplaced. So I'm just going to try and loosen it with a pick. The second spring, as you can see, they are filthy. And then to remove, I believe it's just a 12. This is a 6 mil. You pull the fuel as well? Yeah. Take it easy. Alright, and then lastly, now that that's loose. Oh yeah, no, that's got fluid in it. Let me just... Yeah, I know. Disgusting. And that pretty much concludes today's episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Unfortunately, the next clip on this bike will likely be a few weeks out as the country is still in a lockdown, so we can't really go out and get stuff fixed or replaced. But while you're here, go check out my MR2 build too. Same recipe of Steph, but uh, something a little more complicated. So uh, thank you guys so much and see you next time.